Entanglement is a phenomenon where the state of a single particle cannot be independently described from the state of the other particle. Entanglement is used as a resource for quantum information in computing, and a common way to detect whether pairs of particles are entangled is to see if their composite states are not separable. One of the common models studied for entanglement is the XY model. It is a one-dimensional half-spin chain, and each lattice site possesses a two-dimensional spin variable taken to be in the x and y directions. My study focuses on the XY dimer, a simple case of the chain where only two lattice sites are considered. XY dimers, free from any influence of magnetic fields, can have their thermal states parameterized by anisotropy and temperature. This state will be used to calculate entanglement detection using quantum fissure information. Quantum fissure information, or QFI, is a quantity that provides a limit to how accurate quantum measurements can be made. The QFI can be explicitly expressed if the spectral decomposition of the state rho is known. My study aims to answer the question, how well can a QFI-based criterion detect entanglement in the XY dimer? For my study, I use the method proposed by Lian Luo to detect entanglement in quantum systems using a QFI sum criterion. The main results of the study show that QFI-based measures will detect entanglement in the XY dimer for high magnitudes of anisotropy and for low temperatures. Results are mostly in agreement with expected results, as ground states of the XY dimer are maximally entangled states. The QFI criterion does not detect entanglement for low anisotropies even at low values of temperature, which suggests that other entanglement criterion may supplement the QFI-based criterion.